Hi children, today we are going to do in measurement, we are going to look at capacity. What is that? Today, all of us carry water to school? Yes. Now, when you talk about capacity, we are going to look at objects that will measure things. All right, you buy water, oil, milk, and all kinds from the market, liquid items. How do we measure that? In what kind of buckets or cans, or how does it come to us in the market? We are going to look at that. Yes, it's something very familiar. You have already seen it in your house in the shop. Capacity. Let's look at. There are two big and small measuring capacity, milliliter and big capacity, liter. Okay? Now, let's look at and learn. It's very interesting because it's all what you already know, see and understand. Look. Now, in capacity, let's look. Milk and water and oil, anything that you buy in the market, you buy in liters. One liter can, five liter can, ten liters can and so on. Yes? Whether it's petrol, whether it's water or milk. Let's read what's here. Read with me. Liter and milliliter. Liter is the Big measurement, milliliter is the smaller. Liter and milliliter is a measuring unit. In liquids, liter and milliliter, they are measuring unit. Very good. Used to measure liquids like water, milk, petrol, diesel, syrup, oil, and other liquid items. So, all liquid items you measure in milliliter and liter. Third, let's look at the pictures and understand. Good. Here we are. What do you see here? When you go to the doctor, if you have fever, what does the doctor do? When you look at this, what do you feel? Scared. You don't like to get an injection. It's a syringe. What is it? Syringe. There is small amount of medicine, liquid medicine in it, and the doctor puts it into your arm to make you feel better. Now, this syringe is filled with medicine, and it's a small quantity that is milliliter can be measured in milliliter 1 milliliter 2 milliliter 3 milliliter whatever so milliliter the short form is ml milliliter yes so syringe milliliter is a smaller measuring smaller capacity oil or medicine or anything Okay, so this is a syringe. Good. Next, you have at home tumblers, and mummy put juice for you. What do you say? Oh, she's got more, he's got more. Now, juices. Tumblers are placed like this, and different juices if you put in. And if you and if there is a marker, you can measure. Smaller you amount of juices or water is measured in milliliter. Short form is ml. So this in the tumbler we can put measure and put so many milliliters of juice or water. Yes? Good. Next. We 
buy juice from the shop yes you buy juices water and it comes in pet bottle yes now that pet bottle if you look carefully it's be written there milliliter 500 milliliter or 200 milliliter what's the short form of milliliter ml so when you go to the shop to buy juice whether it's 50 ml 100 ml 500 ml look at the pet bottle what's written there you can get juice you can get water you can buy oil and things like that yes all this is familiar to you but look carefully and see what is written ml how much 50 100 500 look at it next here we have you get mugs or cans huge mugs small mugs and the measurements are written on it you can get to buy in the market it's a large huge mug and you can measure milk or oil water anything now this is 1 liter mug you can see the marking here 100 200 300 4 5 i mean half liter 6 7 8 9 and 10 that is 1 liter of oil or milk or water so this mug can be got at the market liter it's a bigger measuring capacity we learned milliliter small liter is big measuring thing and the short form is l instead of writing all the time liter 5 liters or 6 liter we write l short form so this is a 1 liter mug 1 l is written here good Let's go on. Now here, mummy buys this can. Instead of buying half or one liter oil, she buys a huge can, and that may be this oil can, maybe five liter oil can, whatever oil she buys: ginger oil, coconut oil, sunflower, all kinds of oils. You get in the market so this is an oil can that can take in about 5 liter you go into mummy's kitchen ask her to show you okay now liter this is a bigger capacity 5 liters it can hold and the short form of liter is l you write l for liter good let's look at other capacity measuring capacity now here bucket sometimes you get bucket with all measurements written on the bucket you look carefully sometimes you can get bucket which says 1 liter 10 liter 13 liters whatever a big bucket sometime not all bucket some bucket you you have marked very clearly how many liters of oil or water or milk it can hold huge bucket i mean yes and look at the writings over here there is 1 to 13 it can hold about 13 or more liters of water oil or milk any or any liquid good let's go on here you see this is familiar to you mummy gets it in the kitchen yes most of us buy water big can of water it be sealed or to open okay and this is called a big water can it's all over if you see on the road in the small van big van this water cans are loaded it's full of nice water now this has huge amount of water maybe 5 liter 10 liters 20 liters liter this short form is l and it will be written there and i'm sure you see it in your school in your house look at it yes good next next we 
that we have you might have when you go to the market ask mommy to ask mommy to ask the shopkeeper to show you a big tin oils come in tins sealed tins it can be any oil that you buy mommy buy coconut oil ginger oil rice bran oil sunflower oil any oil that comes in huge tins and it's from there that they this big tins are used for big function otherwise oils come in cans plastic cans and bottles huge amount with maybe 10 liters 20 liters of oil and the short form is l good let's go on to look at other things milk you buy milk from the market you buy milk from the shop sometimes you get it in huge tins like this huge milk cans it can be big it can be small big can they carry many liters of milk and then they bottle and sell it sometimes for big function you need to buy 10 20 liters of milk then they give you a huge can like this sealed look out for it as daddy to show you so milk is also measured in liter short form is l the milk packets you get they are small that is half liter and the big ones are one liter and so on but in the can milk can you can get more 5 and 10 and 20 liters of milk and this is how it milk is transported in the lorries from one place to another let's go on look at this now this is a tanker you might have seen on the road water tanker oil tankers yes now there are also milk tankers they carry milk also from one place to the other oil is always carried in huge tankers like this water when there is a scarcity of water in summer time you see whole lot of water tankers going on the road so in the lorry this big huge cylinder like thing is attached and they pour into it into this milk or water or oil whatever and they take from one place to another so this holds a large a big capacity it can be 100 200 liters and more okay good 